Taste is April 12th. The show starts at 7.30. Tickets are available only through the Halton District School Board. The concert takes place at the Molson Canadian Studio Hamilton Place and the Hamilton Convention Center. Friday, April 13th is the 6th Annual Risk and Recovery Conference. The event starts at 8 a.m., running all day, ending at 4 p.m. The conference is for mental health care providers, allied professionals, and the corrections police. Join the event at the Sheraton Hotel at 116 King Street West in Hamilton. And this is your chance to get ready for the Apps for Health 2012, April 24th in the Arnie at Mohawk College. Meet sponsors, network with industry professionals, and start forming teams with other students. The pre-mixer starts at 7 p.m. Come out for some pizza. That's all for your community calendar. Now let's get back to entertainment. That's a wrap with me in entertainment. Let's pass it over to Brian for your sports update. Thanks, Courtney. Returning from their recent triumph as CCAA Men's Basketball National Champions, the Mohawk Mountaineers received a hero's welcome here at the college. Ignite News reporter Diego Flamini has more. It's been a long time coming. It is the first national championship for the Mohawk College Mountaineers. There was jubilation in Nova Scotia as the Mohawk men's basketball team captured their first ever national championship. The excitement followed the team back to Mohawk as fans gathered to show their support. Coach Brian Jonker says it's great to be on top. Really fantastic. I mean, it's the pinnacle of what you try to achieve every year. So it's uh, to, to actually get there and, and to accomplish it is uh, it's beyond words. Tournament MVP Andrew Sicatini says the team didn't feel like there was any extra weight on their shoulders. This entire year we didn't feel there was any pressure on us at all. We, even though we did know we had a special group of guys with us. But yeah, I don't know. Next, next year we're only losing Aminu. I mean, he dropped 25 a game, but we'll just have to pick up from there. Team captain Aminu Bello says it's a fitting end to his college basketball career. Just playing four years at uh, I mean, three years at McMaster and one year at Mohawk and then finishing it off here, winning a national championship as well as an Ontario championship. It's just a perfect way to go out. Along with the championship trophy, banners will be raised in the gym and the whole team will receive a championship ring to commemorate their historic victory. For Ignite News, I'm Diego Flamini. Joining us here in studio is 2012 CCAA Athlete of the Year, Aminu Bello. Thanks for joining us, Aminu. Thank you. Uh, winning the award, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. Uh, it just speaks for all the hard work and dedication that I put into the gym and the classroom, and uh, it's a great, great honor. What does that mean for the uh, Mohawk basketball uh, program going forward? Uh, moving forward, a lot. I think uh, Coach John can use it as a building tool to kind of uh, build a, the basketball program in terms of recruiting and bringing in better players. Uh, do you plan on uh, playing it for the Mountaineers again next season? Actually, I used my last year of eligibility uh, this this season, so um, I, I can no longer play for the Mountaineers. You plan on uh, continuing your basketball career beyond the college? Uh, at this point right now, I'm just trying to get my career started. So um, if I can find an opportunity to play pro somewhere out west, that's where I'm planning to move in the, just in three weeks. Uh, if the opportunity comes, I, I might pursue that. Good, good, good to hear. Thanks for joining us in the studio once again. Thank you. In last night's NHL draft lottery, the Edmonton Oilers took the first overall pick in this year's NHL entry draft. The Oilers will have the first overall pick for the third year in a row if they choose to keep the selection. Despite finishing dead last, the Columbus Blue Jackets ended up with second overall pick. The Toronto Maple Leafs, however, were given the fifth overall selection but had only an 8% chance at winning the lottery. The NHL entry draft takes place at the Console Energy Centre in Pittsburgh on June 22nd. One night after losing their home opener, the Toronto Blue Jays got one back against the Boston Red Sox on Tuesday night. J.P. Arancibia hit a bases-loaded two-run signal and Edwin Encarnacion homered as the Jays ended up with a 7-3 victory. Kyle Drayback got his first win of the year, allowing only one earned run and three hits through five-plus innings of work. The Jays are back in action this afternoon as Ricky Romero is on the mound against Boston's ace, John Lester. That's it for me with sports. Let's send it back to the desk. As we told you earlier, Mohawk is hosting a day of pink to fight homophobia and harassment. 
We took it to the halls of Mohawk College to hear your thoughts about bullying. Bullying is just something that, you know, it's, it's wrong. It shouldn't be happening in the community. It's, uh, it, it has long-term effects and uh, just should be prevented at all costs. Uh, it's terrible. It ruins children's lives and the people who are doing it don't even know that they're doing that. I think that it's wrong and as the years go on it increases, it's mean um, and it, there's not enough getting done to stop bullying, especially in schools. Um, it's a horrible thing. Um, a lot of kids have to go through it and they're too afraid to talk about it to their parents and possibly so their fear of getting bullied more if they come out about it so it's 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 a sad thing that happens, but hopefully they can uh, limit it now. And that's all your news for Wednesday, April 11th. I'm Sarah Aitchison. And I'm Diego Flamini. Thanks for watching, Mohawk.